This is an iRobot Roomba 780. What I'm going to do is show you what's involved in emptying the bin that picked up all the dust and also what's involved in routine maintenance for this vacuum. We find that we have this go out once a day, usually at four in the morning, and it vacuums probably about 700 square feet takes about an hour and a half and then it goes and it redocks itself. But then every day, not only do we have to empty the bin, but we have to essentially maintain and clean the whole unit. And I'll show you what's involved there. So the first thing we do is pull out the bin. And you'll see that this bin is just completely full of dust and dirt. So we'll empty that in here. And then there are also some HEPA filters that are located here. And you can see those are pretty well full. This, this is just what happens in those filters once a day. So the best way, instead of replacing the whole filter, the best way to do this is to just tap the filter like this. And you'll see that most of the dust that was in there came out. Put that one in. We'll do the same thing with this one. Again, that's very well plugged. You can see all that dust that came out right here. Again. So I, I question the... Um, performance of the HEPA filter if in order to clean it I have to um, you know knock the dust around and get all the particles that were collected on the HEPA, HEPA filter airborne again. I guess the other option is just replacing the filter every day with a brand new filter and that would be very expensive. But anyway uh, this is all that's done to empty the bin. You can see there's still some dust in here but we usually just leave that in. Now the other things we need to clean, if we look at the bottom of the Roomba, you notice this brush here has a lot of hair and a lot of dirt in it. This little wiper also has a lot of hair accumulated in the corners here and here. So that all has to be taken apart and cleaned each day. I'll show you how that looks. So this comes open. And then these rollers come out one at a time. And you can see there's a lot of hair built up here. This comes off. And we find that hair is underneath here. And the same thing with this one. Look at all the hair that's wound on here. And this takes a little bit more work to get all the pieces of hair off. That one came off pretty easily. But we've got all this coming off there. Then we have to take this cap off and look at all the hair that was under that one. So again, we have to pick at this with our fingers. They really don't make a, a good tool for this. So you have to clean all this out by hand. I guess if you had a little pick, that may actually help you get in there. They do give you a pick, but I find it really doesn't get in there as, as close as uh, we should. Okay, that's pretty good. We got all that out. Then you reassemble this. This fits back in here. And that drops in. And 
And then they do provide a tool that helps pull this off. It's essentially a uh, kind of like a, a collar that slides over that has comb teeth on it so the comb teeth pick all the hair off. It makes this um, cleaning of this brush go a little faster. I just don't happen to have that with me right now. And uh, the brush really isn't too bad. You can see I'm pulling all that off the brush. It's not too bad compared to uh, how I've seen it before. You can see there's still a little hair on here. Um, not really a big deal. Put that back in here. Another thing that we find has to be cleaned is this little spinner. This is something that goes along on the front edge of the Roomba and it just kind of brushes the way, uh, brushes the path as it goes forward. And what you have to do, uh, every once in a while you get an alert that there's hair stuck in the shaft or dirt in the shaft. It shuts down the machine and you have to take this piece off with a screwdriver to get in there to clear the hair out. So if we flip that over, all this is hair that was stuck on the, the little shaft. Then that has to go back in place. So to do this, you can see these screws are pretty small. It's using hand tools. You have to be pretty good with your hands. You have to have good eyesight because a lot of these things are pretty small. Pulling the hair out of the, the um, little nooks and crannies also take a bit of work. The uh, last piece that needs to be routinely cleaned is uh, there's this little rotating wheel at the front. It's half white, half black. Hair gets collected in the shaft on this, and if there's too much hair that gets collected, the machine has an optical sensor beneath this wheel. If it sees it's no longer turning, it shuts the machine down and tells you you have to clean the hair out of this. So what we find is we if, if we just do this every day, we typically avoid the shutdown from too much hair being built up. But I'm sure there's hair in here now, so we'll take a look at it. To get this out, you have to grab the roller and pull it straight up. It looks like that. So the roller is in here in this little caster. And then you have to take your fingers and pop that out. And then on either side of the shaft, there's more hair that, that comes out. You can see that right between my fingertips, more hair there. Then to reassemble, this goes back in place. And then you can see here where it plugs in. There's an optical sensor right up in the, the top there. And then we just plug the shaft in that hole. You just push it in place. And then that's in. So now this has been cleaned properly. It's not perfectly clean, but it's cleaned well enough. Let's flip it over this way. It's cleaned well enough to uh, be ready for tonight's cleaning. So that's what it looks like. This is everything we've got out of there and you can see this is again much more involved than just emptying the bin. It takes us typically I'd say five or ten minutes with tools, with fingertips, being very particular, doing this maintenance on this thing once a day. So I, I'm putting this out there just so anybody who's interested in a Roomba understands really what's required for maintenance. It's not as simple as emptying a bin. The trade-off is you, you don't have to walk behind a vacuum machine like you do ordinarily. This does all that for you. So you can be sleeping, you can be in another room. It does all the vacuuming, but the maintenance is quite high level because you have to go in there almost as a mechanic and pull things apart and clean things uh, for us every day because we use it every day. For others, it would be just as often as you use it. You can schedule this to clean every third day, every fourth day. 
That means you would only have to tear it all apart like I just showed you every third or every fourth day. I hope this is helpful for others who are considering a Roomba.